So the snow's been amazing and you decide to use your epic holiday to go skiing. And as you're going down the hill, a kid in front of you drops one of their ski poles and you wipe out and tear your rotator cuff. Are you going to be able to use your tools at work when you're done having your surgery? That's what this use case is all about. It's about how VMware automated accessibility testing and built it as a continuous improvement program. So first of all, accessibility is a regulatory compliance, mandating access for people with disabilities. 25% of VMware product sales require accessibility documentation, and we're going to talk about a four-phase, two-and-a-half-year project that we implemented in order to improve that. In this process, we had many internal and external stakeholders. Customers wanted accessibility documentation. They wanted to know if their customers with disabilities would be able to use the software. Those requests went to the business and sales owners. The business and sales owners then asked the developers. The developers talked to the accessibility team, and then the accessibility team went back to the customers. So this was the loop that we were trying to improve. In 2020, when we started this program, 80% of our products lacked accessibility documentation. We would have emergencies where we would have a sale being held up, and we would need to go out and do contract testing, which was really expensive, and it was also inconsistently performed. So what did we do? Well, first we did a proof of concept. We wanted it to be done fast and speed was essential. Some of our sales cycles were being extended by two months and that was difficult for everyone. We had a product that developers were already using called VMware Testing as a Service or VTOS. So we started by licensing a third party accessibility tool called Wave and started putting it into the VTOS framework that already existed. So the way the process flow worked would be that developers would do a one-time registration, they would define their test, then they would go into this iterative loop where they would execute the test, evaluate the results, modify the code, and then re-execute the test to make sure that the bugs were fixed and no new bugs were introduced. So this loop could go on, you know, a number of times. And then at some point in time, either the developers would say, yeah, we're done with the release, or the managers would say, you know what, this needs to go out. So any open tickets at this point would be put into the accessibility documentation for the product release. And this is what the first proof of concept looked like. We had the accessibility test module, which is above the fold, and the developer would click on that. And then this would be where they would define their test on the interior page. The test would run, it took about one second per HTML page, and then the results would get emailed to the developer. So the accessibility team had an enhancement request. Some of these products have hundreds of bugs and it took a long time to create the tickets. So the accessibility team wanted a more efficient way to create these tickets. The engineering team, of course, had their own list. They wanted more entry points. They didn't want to have to go through the UI. They wanted to be able to execute the test from a browser. They wanted better test coverage than just Wave, and they wanted to be able to compare test runs, and they wanted it to scale. So phases two through four implemented all these per the enhancement requests. We added machine learning to test the coverage, and then we most recently added the clarity component encapsulation guidelines, which will be going into version 17. And so that gives engineers warnings when they use component combinations that can never be made accessible. So the final product, we have 36% of all accessibility guidelines having automated tests. We have multiple paths to get to those tests. And we release this into the open source. The accessibility team workload went down and customers were happy because publicly available accessibility documentation was available on demand. The developers found defects earlier and faster and the sales cycle was sped up. We won awards, we have a patent pending. It was funded for initial development by Xlabs. We've had stratospheric growth and we're estimating a million API calls in 2024. Testimonials from both inside and outside VMware. And if you want to find out if your favorite website or VMware product is accessible, you can go to vtos.eng.vmware.com and set up a test run. Thank you.